Welcome back to Dirt to Daytona, folks. Tonight, we've got a night race at Bristol Motor Speedway. We're going to run a white car. We're going to run the same paint job we've been running. We are, you know, maybe I should change the paint job. We're having a pretty uh, low. I mean, we finished very well in the last race, but we broke our power steering with 30 something laps left to go and everything went to shit even though we were fortunate enough to be a top in the top 10 uh without it we would have definitely had a top 10 car even if everyone was on the same lap as us with that problem we were we were fortunate that we had caught a bunch of cars uh lap down that had just pit when a caution had come out race before that watkins Glen 28th place not great uh race before that i feel like we had some issues as well sonoma wasn't great either just it was a mess so bristol is is not looking great i i ran some right after i recorded michigan and it wasn't it wasn't excellent so here we are we're actually going to run this race and of course i decided to do it at almost 1 a.m because that's the right time to run it and, and i lied when i said we weren't going to run bristol or martinsville on the um endurance length because we are we're gonna run this race on the endurance length and and just we're gonna we're gonna suffer through together so that's that's where i'm at let's get out there do a little bit of practice so i can at least keep the car on the track and then we'll qualify um yeah see this is different than the other times where i've been like yeah we're faster than steve park and mike henson but we're not faster than ricky rudder tony stewart uh we're not faster than steve park either so i don't know what it is with this track but we just are not we i even tried to do the the very slight bit of touching on the uh triggers so that we're not putting full throttle down and you know i've as i've explained before it's just about a 25 percent grade that you have on the in the controller to do that not even probably but uh it's it doesn't matter it didn't matter so we'll see how this goes i suppose we're gonna get lapped a lot and we're just i don't know it's gonna be bad but we gotta run it that's part of the game so we'll do it here comes our qualifying lap and we go way high which is whatever we could lose the rear end if we gas it at all which we did and we lost it so yeah it's a horrible lap and the sad thing is it's no different than the last one the last race it's i mean we've upgraded the car and it's still no different than the last race i don't i cannot i do not know what i can do to this car to make it drive better but we are at the edge of what this car can do without wiping out every lap to the fact that i even have to feather the throttle coming out of the corners and we're still running this poorly now that wasn't obviously our best lap we were able to hit around the 16 eights when we were practicing earlier but that's i mean what is that look at 16 say we did 16 high eights we would have been in 24th so it's it's going to be a rough one but you know maybe it'll be a whole attrition thing again and we'll place well i don't know but we got to keep our nose clean. we won't keep our no our actual nose clean but we have to like you know do something better than we did last time on the track maybe not even with our place just better racing we'll, we'll see what we can do are you ready for intensity on wheels? I'm Alan Bestwick. Welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway. Bristol's 36-degree banked concrete bullring provides some of the sport's most exciting fender banging racing. 147,000. Why does he say fender banging? That is terrible. The crowd is loud and hungry for action. Oh, good. We're on the outside, so when we get stopped in first gear, we're jumping right to third gear. We're so, I mean, just ridiculous how they start you basically stopped. That's so stupid. We have no turn, but it's so funny. We have no turn, but then if we gas it up too early, we will be in big trouble. So that's weird. Yep, there we go. Coming off, we have to feather the gas. 250 laps, which is pretty quick, actually, once we get into it, if we're able to if we are able to drive a bunch of laps without wrecking. So. I, I don't dare even look at how much. Well, I will. <laughs> 60, what, 66 laps to the tank, probably. Something around that number. Stay low. Still there. So there's that. Stay low. Picking up her spot or two so far. Just, I really want to keep it down in the bottom here. 
But I also have to be careful because on the bottom is slick for us. So there's a lot of... But the bottom is the shortest way around the track. And as you can lap. see, yeah, we're doing we're doing okay laps right now, but I'm gonna I'm just I'm gonna focus for this first stint. Let me see if I can do something decent. We're gonna get run over in a minute by the lappers or by the lead lap cars anyway. But I'd like to see if I can get up to the mid twenties. Well, I saw it happen, and we did not cause that. Um, Andretti got turned, was still at the bottom of the track. We were able to avoid him, and then uh, somebody wasn't able to, and they blew it up. We actually ran that whole thing was uh, all but 16 laps of that stint, which is kind of awesome. We're going to go ahead and pit, and we'll, uh, we'll be back with you after the pit. We'll do a little more talking. Not much greatness going on here. We, uh, we just aren't good at this track, I guess. We don't have the speed, but we're doing okay. From a personal perspective 185 laps left to go 184 at the line um with everybody you know with a lot of the cars down laps or whatever it's kind of spread out more you didn't, we didn't have to deal with the whole back of the pack thing um all right not back of the pack side by side stuff especially restarting we can pass a couple we can pass a couple for position, but we need to keep the car under control. You see that? Wow, that was... Yeah, I had some good stick and throttle work, stick and trigger work there to keep us normal, but... Um, don't know if the leaders pit. Not sure that it matters. I'm pretty sure we're three laps down. Two laps down, wow. Felt like more. We've done what we could. 
uh, we got into a pretty good groove. It's just a shame that we don't have any speed in the car. Like, that's honestly it. It's a shame that we can't... Still there. It's not even that passing is hard because things like this weren't happening on our run. You know, we were just... It wasn't that we were getting jammed up like this. It was that we were... When nobody else was around, it was just me versus another car or something. 1v1, as it were. We weren't uh, doing anything. And now we can't because these two lanes are stopped up by triple-digit cars. And we banged into a wall. And we sent somebody into the infield, which sent it up to us. And expect to see a caution pretty soon here. And if not, I will laugh. Whatever. No caution. That's I'm actually okay with that. Ah, I was just about to say I'm okay with that because I'd rather not have a caution, but... Um, I don't know if I want to pit and fix it or stay out. Honestly, at this point, let's just pit and fix it. We'll just pit again. All I'm trying to say is if they weren't in my way in the first place, we wouldn't have cautions. I'm just joking. Um, we are not where we want to be. <laughs> 14th place, bit high for us. But we're just going to run. Like I said before, we're going to run our race. We're going to... Try to be out of everyone's way. We're going to try to pass when we can. We're not going to force things. We did with Steve Park earlier in the race, and uh, it wasn't that we forced it. It was that I kept trying to get inside. I mean, I lost patience. I'll admit it. It's it's something I do. And uh, I clipped him. We both hit the apron. And it wasn't that big a deal because, well, it was a deal to him because he lost a lap. But, you know, I barely even, I think I caught back up to the pack we were racing against in short order when that all happened. So... That's just how it is, but um, right now we'll be pitting with about 120 something, maybe 100 teens left to go. I didn't, when I had first recorded, I think this was was this the first race that was an endurance race or not? It was supposed to be an endurance race, and I was like, "There's no way I'm doing that." Um, since then, it's been shoot eight or ten races that have been endurance. I'm just kind of used to it now, and it's not that big a deal. And that's when I realized that doing 250 laps here is not going to be bothersome to me. And so that's why we're running. Well, I didn't even know. I thought it'd be 300 laps and I still didn't care. I was like, whatever, here it is. This is who we are now. So Martinsville will be another 200, I think 250 lap race as well. And uh, we're going to, we'll, we're just, we're endurance now through and through. Look at Stewart. Oh, he's behind us. I'm like, how is that mother brother? freaking lapping us already he's not he's just taking a spot back because we're up here in a place we don't deserve to be we aren't we aren't fast enough to be doing what we're doing i tighten the car up a little bit hoping for a better exit no not a chance i changed the tire pressure i think that helped a little bit we were running i mean as the tires heat up they'll be better but we were running really high tire pressures and i feel like that was part of our grip issue and now we're I don't know. It feels okay. We didn't... I think we went a pound and a half down, but we did it evenly. Everything was super high. Okay, I gotta get down here. So I can get around the freaking Hardy's car. It's driving me nuts. I'm trying to do it from the top. Well, because I have to do it from the... I mean, it's... There's no... You gotta, like, get the drive... See, that's the other problem. We do not, because the drive off is where we get loose. We don't really have the drive off, but I can. Oh, sorry, guy. Mike Wallace, we are faster than, so it's weird that because we've been ahead of him most of the race. You're all clear. The nice thing about the apron here, if you're not on the gas, it's not such a huge change enough to send, wipe you out, so you can kind of get by by doing that. But I can't believe the Hardy's car is putting down some some laps here, but we could, we could, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, that's how you do that, and he's fine. <laughs> I saw him in the back, in the I watched him in the rear view after that, and he's okay. That was weird, though, like... What? Oh, come on! I didn't... That's unbelievable. We barely... And he stopped now? I'm confused. Like, we're not pitting. We don't... We barely ever... We didn't tap him. We were on his rear end, and I was accelerating. I thought I was accelerating with him. I guess I was pushing him. I didn't realize... The whole time we were racing behind him, we were not pushing him at all. 
So I felt pretty confident, like, we weren't getting to his bumper. He had better drive off. That's what I was talking about. So when that happened, I thought, I'd just stick right up on him and then try to get drive off right up on him. I guess that didn't work, and it caused the caution. So we'll be back with you after this caution is uh, completed. Get set. The race is going green. There's green and flag. here we are again. Just, uh... Doing the best that we can out here. Uh, we were responsible for the last caution, but not not because we damaged ourselves or anything, but because we were riding behind somebody and we um, we made a move that trying to get position on them and uh, we ran them up the track. Well, we spun them out. We didn't run them up the track. We spun them out. So that's on me. Tony Stewart, I think, keeps pitting. Well, I'm explaining the only that's the only way he'd be behind me. Well, that's interesting. Um Unfortunately we're both gonna be stuck behind Carlo. is that yeah, John Wood back there, so Carlo Oh we got low. some stuff happening here. Carlo Oh The guy screwed up. I screwed up meaning that I let Robbie Still Gordon in, but there. I actually didn't screw up because I got in behind Stewart again. Car high. There we go. Good job, Stewart. Run your run whatever line you want to run, guy. You just open up the path and we'll Still When there. I actually have a car that can run on this track next season, hopefully, uh we'll just follow the jackasses through that make their own lines. But until then, we're stuck kind of doing what we're doing. We're doing all right. I mean, I think personally that this race is going far better than the last one did already. Um, we got we got absolutely destroyed last last time we raced here. Biggest issue that I'm having right now is that these slower cars are getting in the way of the fast cars. And then, Still like there. McCabe, he's somebody. He'll always slide down in front of you. This game, obviously, you have to have, and that's what I was trying to do with Borland. Ooh, that's bad. I was on the gas there. He was, oh, speak of the devil, here's Borland right there. Um, that's what I was trying to do with Borland was get up underneath him, get any kind of position before the straight so that I could get to his fender so that he wouldn't come down on in front of me, but that's just how it kind of ended up going. And now we've got All the clear. leaders coming around right up on us. And that sucks. And of course, some of the leaders are behind us because they pit. Carlo. All clear. And, uh, you know, I'm when it comes All to clear. that, I don't mind if I'm not trying to get some position or something. I don't mind moving Carlo. out of the way. I do mind, though, when there's slower cars around me and I give up position to them. And that's why that kind of explains why I'm not. Why sometimes I'll move up and then other times I stay down and I stay with the faster cars and you look like I'm blocking them. I'm not. I just don't want to give up position to these slower cars because then I got to figure out how to get around them. And if I'm around the fast cars, we tend to have a better shot at getting around the slower cars. So. A lot of, lot of stuff going on right here. Not really loving it. Just got rammed into by... Mr. Kurt Busch, because that's how he drives. You know, my option is to run into the cars in front of me or drive up the track, which, of course, I'm sure he'd prefer. I'd just drive up the track and move out of his way. Got Mike Mack here, Echo Park up there. Why did the car just do that? I, that was weird. I've been doing the exact same thing the entire time I'm talking, and it just did that. Now we got Borland again, so I'm going to overshoot the corner on purpose and then see if we can... Nope, we can't do it. Awesome damage. No, okay. I thought that was going to damage my tire or my wheel. Uh, Matt Kenseth coming by Carlo. with Sterling Marlin. It's just best that I not Carlo. make a deal out of it. I do not know what Sterling Marlin was doing there. No idea why he just did what he did. That. Why did he do that? Why didn't he just stay in his line behind Kenseth? We were right there. We were together, and he drove up into me. That's on. That was on him. I take zero responsibility for that. That was on him, and he's an absolute idiot for doing that. Stay high. Still there. Carlo. 
he's fine. He just spun out on the track. As you can tell, he's got his speed back. He's already out here. Clear low. Driving just fine again, but we're not. We're damaged. Front right. Um, oh, we got half, half a tank left. We're going to go ahead and shut up and run out some of these laps right now. We'll catch you back when we're, uh, hopefully when we're pitting and not under caution. Well, actually, if I am pitting and it's not under caution, I need to know if I'm front or back. Because I don't know what pit we have. Car low. There's a spin in turn three. Car low. Well, never mind. Caution comes out. Ooh, big hit there. Somebody unable to get around him. So we'll pit. We'll pit now. After this pit, though, I'm going to run. I'm going to speed up probably for the first three quarters of the next stint. If we can, hopefully. And hopefully, if I'm paying attention, we will do exactly that. Get set. The race is going green. Oh, this time they decided that uh, starting in first gear was the way to go again. I will shift through those real quick. We're back up in 21st place, but... We're definitely off schedule from other drivers. We got somebody getting bumped immediately up there. Um, yeah, I said I was going to, and I'm going to. So we're just going to start speeding it up right here for the rest of this stint. We'll get back with you maybe uh, with a quarter of the stint less left. Enjoy the racing. Yeah, we lost it. I don't I don't know why or how. We just we lost it completely there for no real good reason. Car high. All clear. So Rick, we'll see you after the caution. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green right. flag. Oh wow, we were I think a lap ahead of Steve Park, so through these cautions he's been able to somehow he must he probably has to pit at some point pretty soon i don't know other cars probably do as well come to think of it we're not nearly as fast as mike skinner not even going to try to mess around with him there we got fresh stuff on the car again we got a bunch of cars much faster than us behind us i guess so we'll do that whole shabazz where we uh don't mess with them no reason to i mean we can't even battle with them at all and they're all about to get all caught up up here anyway we are faster than Steve Park, but he's got Ricky Rudd stuck behind him, who I'm sure is really happy with that whole situation. I don't... Yep, I have no reason to jump through all this. I mean, unless it's going to just open up like that, but I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to force myself in there. Rudd can go. I'll put myself in front of Park. Because it's a position. Our goal was 25th. We're in 21st. So that part's good. 109 laps to go. That's good as well. Um, Yeah, this is going to be a whole thing. So I'm just going to focus up here. Maybe I'll say something. I don't know. I don't know. Steve Park got flipped, or it looked like he was almost about to be flipped over. We avoided that. You know, I was yelling about, I don't, 
obviously I won't have it in there, but you saw where I just shoot straight up the track. Man, I'm telling you, I am not changing anything. And all of a sudden, we just we hit the brakes and they just shoot us straight up the track. It's it's the dumbest thing. But uh, what do we have in the tank? Well, it doesn't matter because we have damage. So we're going to go ahead and pit because I said we would anyway. And we've gone about 20 laps, so might as well. Okay, here we are again. Keep it on the track. Always seem to start off with that potential happening. Still there. Back in 25th, uh, I don't know, we must have lost a lap or All something. I, or another lap, because before we were fighting Enoch for position, and now we're with him, and he's not on my list of positional vehiculars, so that's All not clear. great. Although, they may be pitting in 30 laps, so, or so, I don't know. Caution flies again, not sure what it's for, but uh, we're fine and we're going to stay out this time, so we'll see you after the caution. Well, that one might have been because of me. It's whatever. It's whatever. 63 in the tank. I think there's 63 or 62 at the line. Plus the laps were down. We don't have to stop again. So we just need to drive. We just need to drive through the rest of this. It, it hasn't. Look, it's not been like the last race was. That's for sure. 65 at the line there. What do we got? Oh, yeah. We have 60 total to go, and we have 62 in the tank. We're fine. So, as far as it goes with this race, you recall the last race we had some pretty, not the very last race, but the last uh, time we raced at Bristol, we had some pretty big issues. Clear high. Gotten some pretty huge wrecks and uh, early on Car frequently, high. and it was just obnoxious. Tony Stewart driving like an asshole doesn't help, but, you know, that's All just clear. him, obviously, right now. We're just going to move up. Car These low. are all cars that are not for position. Um, I'm not as fast as Mark Martin, so I'm not going to catch him, that's for sure. I am fast as Steve Park, but I guess I won't be catching him. I don't know if anyone's going to be pitting or if everyone pit because there was a weird glitch. That got me stuck behind two cars on pit road, like in, I'll show you a, maybe a screenshot or something. And my car was just trying to Carlo. move and push, but it wasn't. So that part sucked. Carlo. Yeah, we got a lot of uh, much faster cars. Well, that's Matt Kenseth, guys. Matt Kenseth just drove right up into me to try and move me out of the way so he Carlo. could get the line he wanted. We're completely clean. We're completely doing nothing wrong. Just hanging out up top, leaving everyone alone, letting everyone get by. All clear. Matt Kenseth. Matt Kenseth decides that he's going to Matt Kenseth us. Clear low. Wow, 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 wow. Freaking magnet. Yeah, and when he did that, he actually damaged our front left. Why? And he's still in the same spot. He's just in front of us, but he's still in the same spot he was before. He's a pile of trash driver in this game. I'll say that much. Still there. Still there. Carlo. Carlo. All 
clear. There's a spin in turn one. Car high. Car low. Car low. Still there. Hold your line. All that clear. guy's pulling off the pit anyway. Which begs the question, how many cars do you still have to pit? We might uh, we might get a top 20 yet. I don't All know. Clear. Right now, it's not looking great. I don't, part of the hardest reason is because trying to get around cars. And we're such a, we have clear such high. little speed here that this is part of our issue. Enoch just driving through Mike Mack there. It was a real jackass low, move. Clear low. But now he's stuck, so whatever. Oh, come on. I was just about to get happy because I thought, well, maybe if we go for a while, we'll have uh, cars pitting and we'll get some positions or maybe even a lap back. Who knows? But no, instead, Michael Hovel can't freaking drive his car and we get to go back to a caution. We'll catch you after it. What in the devil's butthole happened here? Oh, I see what happened. This is our only opportunity to get even a position back. We have to get in front of these guys, which will never happen. So the only good thing that happened out of this is that we're not trying to get around the slower cars right away. And I have to worry about, like, Mark Martin, who will drive right through us. So I should probably... Move up to the middle of the track Car for him. Carlo. Twenty first, probably the uh, extent of how well we can do, I guess. It's all right. It's all right. We're gonna finish this one out, and we'll uh, we'll talk about Carlo. it after the race. Caution flies again. We'll be back. Get set. The race is going green. There's green flag. Well, I think we could probably wreck 12 times on our own right now, causing every accident, and we still wouldn't have amounted to nearly the amount of uh, stuff that has gone on in this race. I do need to focus, though, because I just realized that a number of cars around us are uh, for position. Oh, wow. Two to go. How did that even happen? We were five laps down. Uh, two laps to go. 
We um, we wrecked Mike Wallace because he was slower than us and being annoying. Now I'm going to move Steve Park because of a similar reason, probably. Unless I can somehow get around him in three and four. Oh, this is stupid. I'm not going to get to him. Because McCabe, who doesn't move up for me ever, freaking moved up for me. What a duck. Oh, yeah. Not a good race, but actually it was great as far as the fact of how we drove under the circumstances. That's what we'll say with that one. Top five of the race, Kevin Harvick, Ken Schrader, Mike Skinner, Ricky Rudd, and Jeff Gordon. And it was a rough race for us where we didn't get really any of our sponsorship goals, or did we, when we get here? Um, okay, so place 35th or better, 25th and 28th. So we did get some money. Important thing is we went to Bristol and we came out in the green. We ended up coming out $17,000 in the positive, so I'll take that any time at this point. Um, well, you know, the weather was clear at Bristol, but it was nighttime. So all we really cared about was the fact that there wasn't rain and it brought some exciting driving with it. Kevin Harvick took the checkered flag on August 21st. Um, you know, he has driven like a jackass from time to time. So I'm not going to congratulate him today. I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, maybe a little salty today because we can't figure out our car for this racetrack. That 22nd position is going to uh, have us in 17th place, but kind of being a little more difficult to get in front of Jarrett Burton or even Earnhardt at this point. So we'll see. we got to make some changes. Our next cup race will be at Darlington Raceway. It should be a lot of fun. We had a good time doing it last time, and we didn't have the car that we have right now. So I think we might be up for, well, we might be aiming for a top 10, hopefully, in that one. But we got through... The gauntlet of racetracks that uh, haven't been kind to us in the past. So we take what we can and we move forward. That is going to do it for this episode today, folks. I do want to take a moment out to say thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And as always, until next time, you take care.